Australia's car industry was built on the appeal of muscle cars. Lots of power, rear-wheel drive and preferably a big V8 under the bonnet. And a few years ago, the taps were turned off. The departure of our homegrown heroes left a huge hole in the motoring landscape. But thankfully, the rest of the world stepped in to at least partially fill the void. But it begs the question, if you want a muscle car in 2020, what should you buy? A $100,000 price cap gives us three options. The Ford Mustang R-Spec, the Chevrolet Camaro 2SS and the Toyota Supra GTS. To separate them, we've come to the Wodonga TAFE driver training facility with a simple mission. Find which is the most fun. Now, the conditions today aren't conducive to going fast, but muscle cars aren't about lap times anyway. They're about putting a smile on your face. The Ford Mustang R-Spec is now the closest thing we have to a locally built muscle car. The Mustang bit still comes from the US, but the R-Spec bit is added right here in Australia. It's a collaboration between Tuna Herod Performance and Ford, but don't think this is some aftermarket special. You buy it from a Ford showroom and you still get the full five-year warranty. Which is pretty remarkable, because the 5-litre V8 has been supercharged to over 500 kilowatts. 500! The rest of the package is less wild. There's upgraded suspension, new wider wheels, and this exterior styling that you can judge for yourself. Traction is pretty impressive, but it can be a bit snappy when it lets go. Once you catch it, though, it'll happily sit sideways all day long. There are a couple of drawbacks. The gearing is so long that it dulls the punch of the engine. Third gear stretches to almost 200 kilometres an hour. And the engine itself can be a bit sensitive, limiting power if it senses something is off with the fuel or temperature. That's the price you pay for a five-year warranty. The Chevrolet Camaro uses a very similar recipe to the Mustang but it's taller and more focused. You sit lower, it's harder to see out of, and you feel the road more. Now, these could all be bad things, but weirdly, these compromises do create more of a sense of occasion. The gear shift requires more effort than the Fords, but its 6.2-litre V8 is much bigger, so you don't have to work it as hard to get the power. The strangest thing about the Camaro is its steering. It's really heavy. Once you get used to it, the Camaro is a massive laugh. <laughs> it gives you more feedback than the Mustang, and it's got more grip. Yet it's also easier to control when that grip runs out. It's a simple, honest car with a sense of humour. The Supra is much more serious. There are those that will say it's a sports car, not a muscle car. <laughs> These are probably the same people that are upset that it's made from lots of BMW bits. Semantics. The Toyota adheres to the muscle car formula, and what's more, it's really, really good. It has way less power than the others, but its three-litre turbocharged straight-six engine more than matches the V8s for our right punch. But while it's the most athletic of the trio, its suspension is still relatively soft. This not only makes it more comfortable on the road, it's friendlier at the limit too. Today is all about which car is the most fun. But while the Super would undoubtedly be the quickest against the clock, it hasn't forgotten how to entertain. All three are impressive machines. The R-Spec is exclusive and super powerful, but lacks some handling finesse. The Super is the best to drive, but is missing some of the attitude you want in a muscle car. That leaves the Camaro. It's not perfect, but it is a lot of fun, and most closely resembles the local muscle cars we love so much.